For Christmas 2015, my kids received brand new bikes. After doing some looking around online, I discovered an Australian brand called Bike K, hey, designed by a Melbourne guy named Warren Key. At $400 each, they're definitely not on the cheap end of the market. But my kids love riding and reviews seemed 100% positive, so we splashed out and got him a Bike hey E350 with two-speed internal automatic gearing. My son has just turned five years old, is 112 centimetres tall, weighs 18 kilograms, so he fit the E350 model, which the Bike K website states as fitting kids aged four to six and between 95 and 117 centimetres in height. The E350 comes with training wheels, but my son hasn't needed these since he was four, so the training wheels that came with it are currently sitting in my shed. Please note that because the 350 model does come with training wheels, you do not get a kickstand included. The guy at the bike store had to cut down a normal sized kickstand with his hacksaw, and even now it's still a bit too upright when the bike is on the kickstand, so it topples over very easily. Also, the photos on the Bike Hay website and in their catalogue make the paint on the two-geared model look really bright yellow, but in real life it's a lot more golden. It's not a bad thing, but if you're expecting fluoro yellow, you will be disappointed. Um, I have been told, though, that for 2016, the yellow will be changed to a much brighter shade. My son's E350 weighs 8.8 .8 kilograms, according to my luggage scales. That's uh, 19 and a half pounds for those on Imperial. His old bike weighed 7.9 kilos, so we've added less than a kilogram of weight to get a bigger frame much bigger wheels, an additional handbrake, a kickstand, and two gears. If you choose one of the single fixed gear 350 model bikes, you do get other color options such as the red, blue, or green. The red was my favorite, um, as well as some softer colors for the girls' frames. But the only boys' frame color with the internal gearing for 2015 is the gold. Where we live is fairly undulating and where we holiday with our bikes every year is also quite hilly, so we chose the two-speed internal rear hub. Uh, this shifts gears automatically based on your speed and your intensity. According to reviews I've read of the adult version of the automatics hub, it changes up automatically around about 15 kilometers per hour or roughly 9 or 10 miles per hour, and it won't shift back down as long as you keep pedaling. Bike A have apparently tweaked the hub to be more child friendly, so it probably shifts up a bit earlier. Some adult users complain that if they stop pedaling on a downhill, for example, they'll find themselves back in the starting gear and they need to pedal hard to get it to change back up to the top gear. It's a bit hard to get detailed technical feedback from a five year old, uh, but as I'm riding along behind my son, I can see his pedaling cadence change as he hits about 10 kilometers an hour. And sometimes when he goes up hills, he does struggle because he is stuck in that higher gear and it doesn't drop down automatically. It'll take some practice on his part to learn how to drop down a gear by probably pausing for just a second or so to let the springs drop him back into that, what we call granny gear. The E350 comes with 18 inch wheels that are laughably bigger than my son's uh, previous bike. They've got a fairly subtle tread pattern on the tyres. Visually they look like they'll give you a bit of grip and they definitely look like they've got more grip than my daughter's tyres on her 450. But really they're both pretty smooth. Um, it's not a raised profile. So they're probably not really very good for sand or mud. But then 95% of our riding is done on sealed roads, bike paths and footpaths. So it's probably not a huge problem for us. The 350 comes standard with a front reflector, rear reflector, chain guard, good quality pedals, a bell, and handbrakes for the front and the rear wheels. My son's just turned five recently and his hands are still a bit too small to comfortably squeeze the handbrakes, but he did notice that the lever for the front wheels brake is harder to squeeze than the lever for the rear wheel brake. I'm not sure if it was designed by Bi-K, to do this or my bike mechanic set it up this way but it means that he's less likely to accidentally lock up the front wheel and go flying over the handlebars whether by design or by luck or accident this is a good thing
Importantly for kids of this age group, the 350 still has a rear coaster brake where you press on the pedals backwards and that slows you down. The traditional back pedal brake for all kids' bikes. This gives the security of and the strength of the rear pedal brake that kids are familiar with while slowly introducing the concept of hand brakes. And as he grows bigger and his hands get a bit longer, he'll be able to introduce the hand brakes, but I'm not going to rush him into that just yet. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully this review has given you some useful information about the Bike hey E350. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.